Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a charity thrift style, what it is, it's a thrift haul. So a charity shop haul for you. I've got a lot of homeware stuff. I picked up quite a few goodies. Um, I also picked up some clothes, um, only two items of clothes. If you like this video at any point, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you do want to stick around, then please hit that subscribe button and that bell button so you're notified when I next upload a video. So let's get straight in to the charity shop haul. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up was this. Now this here, I thought was an absolute bargain find. It's these little candle sort of holders. Now, they might look a bit battered and horrible and green. You know, I don't really like the colour, obviously. Um, <laughs> but... I bought these so that I could spray them white. I just thought that these would look so nice white. Look at the detailing on them like that, see? And can you imagine them sprayed up all white? So that's what I'm gonna be doing with those. And for those, a pair of them, for them together, was one pound. One pound, I thought that was absolutely amazing. But yeah, um, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a DIY on that by spraying it. And these will look lovely. I'm not sure exactly where they're going yet, but they'll look lovely somewhere. I needed some more knickknacks for things for my bathroom and stuff like that. And it looked nice with a nice long candle in it. So yeah, I'm gonna do this as a little DIY. So the next thing that I picked up was absolutely a great find. I love this. It is so cute. And it's this here. It's like a little acrylic flower and a little plastic sort of um, vase type thing. And look at that, it's really, really nice. It is so nice, honestly. This was only two pounds. Um, oh, and by the way, the previous ones I got from Cancer Research, and this one here is from Eleanor. So um, I don't know if you've ever heard of Eleanor, um, but this is from there. And it was only two pounds, and it's the light. It's a light, so it goes on like that, and it changes colour. So it's green and then red and all these different colours. And I just thought that was so nice. For two quid. Look at that. It's purple now. Blue. Whatever. But yeah. For two quid. I thought that was an absolute bargain. So had to have that. I absolutely love thrifting. I love going to charity shops and finding really good little bargains. So here's another one of my next little bargains that I've got. And it's this bath. Acrylic bath. And I think. Well I'd say that was from Wilkinson's. Yeah it's from Wilkinson's. I already know they stocked them. It was only a pound. Um, now you can get these for two pound, I think, that they are actually brand new in Wilco's. But for a pound, I was gonna get one anyway because I was actually gonna do a DIY on this. When I saw it, like, you know, cause it's a bit scratched up, but no worries about that because I don't, I'm, I'm gonna be doing something else with it. So it's just an acrylic bath like that, so plastic. Um, and this would be really nice to put in shower and shampoos, shower gel shampoos, or making them display really nice. I'm sure somebody does this actually and puts um, Mrs. Hinch is style shampoo and thingy in there. That's what you could do with it and put it in your bathroom. It just looks really pretty. But I'm going to be doing something to it so it won't be so clear. So yeah, I had to pick that up for a pound and that was from Cancer Research too. The next thing that I picked up, this was from um, Bexley and Greenwich um, hospi Community Hospice something like that um, but yeah they have a lot of furniture and stuff usually and like they get a lot of really good homeware stuff so I had to go in there and this is what I picked up from there so I got this here and it's just like a little bottle so I'm just going to give that a little bit of a clean in there because I think it's got a little bit dirty um, and then you just pop it on like that and I, this was really uh, when I saw this I thought this would look really nice in my bathroom so I don't know if you can see Look, it's got all that sparkly effect, and there's the little diamante lid. Um, you could put something in it, but I want it for display purposes only. And I got this for two pounds, and yeah, it was an absolute bargain. I absolutely love that. And what I am going to do with it is I'm just going to put a ribbon around here because I feel like there should be a ribbon around there. I don't know if there was one before, but I'm going to put a little ribbon around there um, in white, and that would just look really nice in my bathroom. So another great homeware find. The next thing that I picked up was this little toolbox. So it's just empty. It's obviously came, I originally think this comes with tools, like with little wooden tools. And it's a little bit worse for wear and everything else. But don't ever walk past something like this and just think that it looks like rubbish because it's not. So what? it was only a pound. So as you can see, one pound. This was from Cancer Research again. By the way, Cancer Research has really good prices in there. I was really shocked. I got quite a few bits out of Cancer Research. And obviously it's all going to a good cause, so you may as well. But this here was only a pound, and what I plan to do with this is 
spray paint it or paint it, whatever. I'm going to paint it basically all white. I might do this in a different colour, I'm not sure. Or I might do all of that white and leave that red, not sure. But the reason why I wanted it was because I thought, how cool. I really need something because I'm sick of pencil cases and things like that in this house because the pens and pencils don't seem to fit in them and then they don't get put away and then they get lost or they're left open, things like that. So I thought for my kids, I'm going to make this all pretty and I might put on a little sign that says pens um, and then in there will be all pens, pencils and stuff like that and then what they can do is they can just carry it around. Look at me. <laughs> they can just carry it around with them. Um, to wherever they want to do art and wherever they want to do colouring. So I just thought that was really, really good. I'm going to paint it white and maybe a different colour here or the same colour. Or I might just do it all white, not sure yet. Haven't decided. But yeah, bargain, one pound, bit of wood. The next thing that I picked up, this might not be to everybody's taste, this is more shabby chic, but I am going to also be painting this because this is a little bit of a colour too dark for me. But this here, if you're going to think, what do you mean too dark? It's cream. No, this here is like a little... This here, anyway, let me just explain what it is. So this is like a little tray, and it's like metal. So I don't know if you can hear that. It's metal, anyway. Um, and it's like shabby chic style. So look, see that detailing? It's like an ornate shabby chic, and I absolutely love that. And look at the bits around here. I've got this. This was um, £4, and I got this from the community hospice as well. Um, and they're a really good little charity shop when you want to find unique items or loads of homeware, anyway. They do a lot of homeware. Um, so I've got this, and I plan, it, it doesn't show it properly to the way it looks to me, but to me, it's a little bit too dark of a cream, so I'm going to spray this white, so it's going to be painted white, and it will just go much better, and I'm, this is going into my bedroom, and I've got two little light angel ornaments, and they're going to go in there, and I might put a little tea light in there, or you could have it for holding perfumes and stuff like that. I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm doing with it yet, but I know that it's going in my bedroom and it'll look absolutely stunning. So look at the shape of it. It's really, really nice. It's quite big. Um, so for £4, can't really go wrong on that one, really. Um, good little find. I like it. So the next thing that I picked up was these two. These are beautiful. They were actually £2 each, which I've got them out of cancer research, so they're like the same as I've got the pair of them for a pound so you know these ones that I got for a pound for a pair um well these were a little bit more expensive but they are metal and they've got the little soft bit at the bottom and look at the detailing on them you can try and get that up there you go it's got all like pearly diamantes it's really really pretty and again candle holders um so I thought that these were really nice try and get them at the front again for you so I thought that these were really nice, and they were £2 each, but they were worth it because they're a little bit more blingy than the others that I got, and I thought they're really, really nice, well worth the money. Um, so yeah, I've got two of these, which I really like. Cancer Research again. The next thing that I picked up, this was for my daughter. I couldn't believe when I found this, because anyway, I'm going to tell you. So it's a Kath Kidson little, like, satchel sort of bag, and it looks discoloured, but it's not. It's the, like... Um, it's a bag like this anyway, and I got it for four pound. So four pounds for a cat kids and a little bag bargain. Um, so I think it's actually three pound ninety nine. And I got this from Ele Eleanor. Yeah, I got this from Eleanor as well. Um, so yeah, you can if you stick it out and look through charity shops, you can seriously find some good makes and stuff like that. So just keep going. If you don't already find stuff, you're always going to find one hidden gem. I promise. Next thing that I picked up was just this basket. Um, okay, it's just, it looks so cute actually. Just like that, it looks really cute. I love this, look at that. It's, it's in amazing condition. There's no like ripped bits or anything like that. Not that I know of anyway, no, there isn't. Um, so yeah, this little basket is cute. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the prices now. This little basket was only three pounds. So look, this is the inside of it and the outside and then the little handle. Now this wicker basket, I plan to Again, I'm going to say it, sound, I sound like a broken record. I'm going to spray paint it, either white or grey, not sure yet. Might be white, possibly. Maybe grey. I'm not quite sure yet, but I'm going to spray paint it. It is lovely like that, and for anyone who likes that, who has that sort of thing in their home, it's great. But I have a lot of grey and whites in my house, so and for where I want it to go, it's definitely grey and white, and that is my bathroom. So what I originally, when I saw this, I thought, how cool would this be for, for the toilet bowl? It would just make it look a little bit more pretty to have on the floor with loads of toilet bowls in, 
um, well not loads, but it with toilet rolls in to make it look a little bit more neat and tidy, but there's always toilet roll to hand. I just thought this was a really good idea. Three pounds. And I've been looking for something like this for a very, very long time. In fact, I'm sure I went to my auntie's house um, a few years ago and she had something similar. I can't remember what it was. And I was jealous. I was like, where did you get that from? But when I saw this, I thought this was really, really cute in the bathroom. That looked really nice, but sprayed up white or grey. So let me know in the comments what you think I should do. If you think I should do it a light grey or um, white. I'll be interested to see what you would like me to do. So the next thing that I picked up was another homeware find. I found a lot of little goodies. Um, this here is gonna make a special entrance because this here, you are not ready. You are not ready for this. Honestly, I'm gonna do a special entrance. Oh, you see the bit of it. Right, this here was five pounds, right? And oh my goodness, I'm just gonna show you now. Look at that! Oh my goodness! This was my star find of this time that I went to charity shops, I'll tell you that. I got this from, I'm going to try and show you it closer. So let me just tell you a little backstory actually. So let me show you this side. So they all came with these little things on, the little droplet ones, but there was three missing. So what I did do is I thought, oh, and there's loads in the middle. I thought, oh, Poundland's ones fit, might fit. So see these, they're then packet of gems, they've got little holes in them. And what I've done is I've just, because they have the rings on them already and you can make the rings, you can get a bit of wire and a bit of metal and just whatever. Yeah, anyway, you could probably buy them like that. But these here, I thought they will make it look brand new, make it look so much more cleaner and better. Um, so I put three of them on just to basically see how they looked. And I I'm considering putting them, I might leave the middle one, I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to put the other one on the other side. So, yeah, it's just got that, them little blingy things. And I got them from Poundland. So, it just shows you can make anything much better. If you think it looks broken or bits are, are not there, you can always go and fix them. You can restore them. So, yeah, that was my thing with this. This is gold. So, you might all be thinking, what do you mean, Siobhan? You just said you had grey and white home. Well, I am actually considering spray painting this what a surprise i spray paint everything i'm considering spray painting it silver because then it will match my decor um so this here is honestly it's my favorite part and obviously it has the bits there that you put the candles in so i'll put i think i'm putting this on my table in the middle as a nice centerpiece and look at all of the bits look it looks like it's dirty but it's not it's the way that the um it's the way that it's, it's gone. Um, so that's why as well, because we're in spray painting it, but it is nice the way it is, honestly. Like if you, my mother-in-law has a gold theme and cream theme, this would probably look nice in her home and I might give it to her, I'm not sure. But it was only five pounds and I got this from that community hospice, I don't know if I said that already, but look how gorgeous and it's really heavy. Like it was such a good find, honestly. So the next thing that I picked up, I'm absolutely sweating by the way. Sorry, it's really hot. <laughs> Where I am right now, it's really, really hot, and I'm really finding it hard to do this with my hair and everything. I'm sweating. It's disgusting. So, the next thing that I got was a clothing item, right? So, this here was a little gem because it's a designer name. So, it's just a little, like, tank knitted type style. You get the gist of this. Um, jumpery thing. You know, like, them Bessie jumper things, something like that. Anyway, this is in, like, a grey. Look, you'll see closer. Right, this here I picked up for four pounds. Now, four pounds a bit expensive, but you know, it is DKNY. So look, DKNY that is, and it looks like it's hardly been worn. Like honestly, if it's ever been worn, it doesn't actually look like it's been worn, it looks brand new. So it's for DKNY and it was four pounds. I was like, yes, I'll have that, thank you. So the next thing that I picked up was another good find from a really good shop. You will all know about this shop when I tell you. Um, so it's these lemon, like, they go down tapered sort of trousers. And they're really like, I can't see if you can see that. They're really like the structured sort of, they're really nice. So they're like that and then they sort of go down tapered. They're really, really nice. I You'll never guess what I picked. Well, you will because it's on the thing. I picked this up for £3. This was on the £3 rail, right? Now these look like they've never been worn as well. And let me tell you where they're from. They are from Zara. So look, Zara, Zara. And these here were three pounds. I thought I've got to have some of them. 
Um, and at the minute, I've been putting some weight on. But why, by the way, that's a good thing for me, to let you know. So it's not me moaning that I'm putting weight on. I'm putting weight on, and a lot of my trousers are not fitting me at the moment. So when I saw these, I thought, oh, let's have a go at them for three pounds. Why not? So yeah, I picked those up. So that was everything that I picked up from the charity shops that I went to. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do want me to do any more of these videos in the future, like charity shop thrifting, more try on hauls for to do with charity shops, etc., please let me know in the comments. Please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and that bell button so you're notified when I next upload a video. So for now, I'm going to leave you and I'm going to see you on my next video. Bye.